Hello everyone, this is Dilip. In the last video, we have seen the hypothesis representation of neural networks. In this video, let's look at multi-class classification problem and how to represent the cost function. So this is how we represent a multi-class classification neural network. So this is one of the examples I have taken. And it has four input layers. It means it has four input features. And between we have hidden layers and an output layer. In logistic regression, we have seen always the output hypothesis is a single one where we do one versus all classification to do multi-class classification. But in neural networks, we can have multiple hypotheses in the output layer. So in the end, we have three hypotheses here. And each hypothesis will give out a result that will indicate whether it belongs to first class, second class, or third class. So this is one example where we have input pictures and we have to identify whether it is a truck, a bike, or a car. So how does our hypothesis will look like? For a truck, our hypothesis will look like this. For a bike, our hypothesis will look like this. And for a car, our hypothesis will look like this. So in the end, what we get is if we get a hypothesis in the beginning, indicating it's a one, first one, then it is a belongs to truck class. If the second hypothesis has more weight, then it is like a bike. The third hypothesis has more weight, then it is a car. So here we have shown hypothesis to be a three node vector. Okay, let's move on. So this is for representation purpose. In order for the cost function to represent, what we are doing is we are taking some notations. So L denotes the total number of layers. So this has total four layers. So L will be four. And SL denotes the number of nodes at L layer. Say so for example, here, S2, they know S2 denotes the total number of nodes in this layer. So the value of S2 will be six because we have six nodes here. Similarly, the value of S3 will be four because we have four nodes here. And K denotes the number of nodes in output layer. So here the value of K is three. So in a multi-class classification problem, if you know that we have to identify between five different things, then K will be five. So here we can see we have to, we are identifying with for three different things, like in previous slide. So K will be three. Our cost function will be generalized from logistic regression. So this is a logistic regression cost function. As you can see, we have added the regulation parameter to take care of overfitting as well. Now, generalizing this for neural networks will look like this, where since we have multiple hypotheses depending each on each class for a multi-class classification problem, each of our hypotheses we will represent with the i subscript, which will indicate the hypothesis for that class. And this is how you look at it. And you can see this term looks same, but you can see here K, YK and HK. So these denote the expected result for each class. So we are iterating from K equal to one to K. 
So for the number of output nodes, that much we do the iteration. And since we have multiple hypotheses, we take multiple test result as well. And we do the summation to get the cost function. And even the regularization parameter, what we added, if you see, it's just like regularizing all the values of theta in all the layers of the neural network. So this is what this summation means. So we are including all the theta parameters. So in the next video, we'll see how to use this cost function to get to an algorithm that can solve neural networks. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Bye.